I've got a question for you. Why is it that we so many times want to put other people down? It's natural, it's all around us. Not just politicians trying to get more votes by putting down their opposition, but we can find it in schools, we can find it even in families, we can find it in religion also. People continually thinking about what they can do to put other people down. The story of Lent and the reading of the Bible is the story of Jesus, a very good person, a person who loved those that no one else loved, who cured people with diseases that had held them back and sicknesses that had held them back for years, for almost their whole life, always lifting people up, empowering people. And yet, he seemed, because of his goodness, to be a threat to other people. If anybody was put down unjustly, it certainly was Jesus. He was a person who only did good, and yet, continually these people are looking around trying to catch him, to try to put him out as even being filled with Satan and being an evil person. Well, you and I, who are a reflection of the same people that battled with Jesus, must face the fact of our own insecurity Oftentimes that's what the reason we put others down. We feel so low ourselves that maybe if I can bring that other person even lower than myself, then I'll have a little a level of dignity in my life. And yet that's not really what we should be doing. We should be imitating Christ, who even though he was put down, was continually empowering and finding good in other people. May we listen to the to the words of God who says, I love you. And if we really hear that, we have a foundation in God that allows us to be able to move from the brokenness of our, of our insecurity to a peace. If we know God loves us and God forgives us and God wants us to be with him forever in heaven, if, if that's true, we can relax and we can trust in God and in that peace and security, let go of so many of the put-downs that we give other people.